All right. Um, let's start. So, uh, <coughs> it's uh, unavoidable that there'll be an election soon. Mm. Uh, the, the last election, uh, PTR was the leading party in PH, and uh, it could have been expected to take over the premiership. Now there's a disappointment, a sense of uh, betrayal among the voters that some that some of the MPs we elected uh, betrayed the cause. Do you feel PTR is ready to go to the ground with the correct message mm. to, to the Rakyat for the next year? With the right strategy, for example, we should not be beholden to the past. I mean, there were excesses we have to recognize. But there were successes too. I mean, uh, notwithstanding my view on Mahathir, but the fact on, the, on the issue of judicial independence, uh, prosecution, uh, and and uh, also the age, although these are also questionable, see, because they are, they are, the, the criticism is that some people in PH were not um, uh, prosecuted. Okay, but then let them answer. Let the then AG or you know CG then or the then Prime Minister. We should move on. And, and to my mind, um, we work uh, based on the core uh, fundamental principles or values. We should move. I'm of course very pleased because in the last few months, particularly after Gomba, Walapila, politics uh, and Rafizi's uh, uh, program in Johor, you can see this marked. Uh, uh, enthusiasm, excitement. Um, I'm going through again the northern states uh, this weekend, so I, I'm I'm quite pleased. Um, we can't blame the you know, general public uh, for being rather critical, cynical, or disillusioned. They have good reasons, but we have to tell them, you know, because the the culprits should be punished. Because you, they take that position, then we will we will lose. I mean, the country will have to we will lose. The rakyat will suffer. Uh, one of the concerns of the rakyat is uh, well, they want to know: will, will you, under any circumstances, will you want to work with Doctor M again after what happened the last time? Well, we see in the, in the opposition, we have decided to uh, focus on peace and. Uh, all the seat uh, negotiations, uh, policy framework, and even resolutory, just on page. Um, and I think we'll go um, through uh, based on this core value. Because people are so critical. What is the reason? Just is it purely political expediency? You think you can only win by working with them? So these are you know contentious issues that you have to deal with. And more so when they all talk about um, a Malay uh, unity or Malay-based uh, party or Malay agenda, um, which which I would question. You know. I would say um, that uh, Malay uh, concerns are also our concern, uh, but we we have to transcend beyond that by saying that we have to deal with the core of the. Uh, issues affecting the Malays, issue of poverty, issue of marginalization, issue of inequality, issue of uh, the Malay agenda being hijacked by the corrupt elites. Uh, but at the same time, you said you have a mature, we have matured as a democracy, as a nation, and we have to embrace uh, this concept of inclusiveness of uh, the, the plight of the Chinese, Indians, the Sarawakans, and the Sabans. And that's the future. And I don't think we should be apologetic or defensive about it. I've gone round, I'm mean, very I mean, on our offensive. I said, um, don't question our Malayan's integrity, but, but you are making a huge blunder. So your question, if we want to work with them, then we work based on common values and agenda for the nation. Is it possible that this vision is too far forward for part of the Malay heartland where Amno and PAS are still two dominant parties and it's still difficult for PH and mm. to break through. That's what they said six decades ago when Dr. On Jafar moved to the idea of uh, you know, Malay and they say Malaysian or Malayan uh, uh, identity. So I think after 60 years, we'll have to work hard because if we have weak leaders or leaders that um, want to use uh, 
an easier route. Uh, and and uh, sacrificing these core values and principles on humanity, on constitutional guarantees, and then we'll, we, we will not progress to succeed. I think, and I, I concede, yes, there are problems. We are not dealing with the urban or suburban base. There's the rural heartland, some concerns are there. And go to many places, they, they do question. So you can see my, my, some of my speeches saying that, look, um, why do you say DAP is against uh, Malay languages? They have signed the document. I've seen it. It's not what they said. And it's interesting when they sign, they sign together with me and uh, Mr. Hadi Awang. So, yeah, so you have to be honest mm, to, to, to the, you know, at least say this. Uh, I'm optimistic because, because uh, the uh, assumption that the Malay heartland is not with us um, is not entirely true. Um, Kanga is 85% Malays. Kuala Kedah, 80% Malays. And, uh, and we won comfortably. So uh, it's, a method, it's how we work. We need to work harder, uh, more organized, better strategy.